hello folks hope you're all fine happy uh, in this video I'm showing you how to create uh, your knowledge panel a uh, Google knowledge panel using your WordPress website uh, using certain plugins uh, if you talk about the Google knowledge panel uh, there, for example if you set for a certain entity for a certain product for a company or for a certain keyword then you can see there is a panel on the right side here I search for Yoast, you can see all the information about Yoast here. Uh, you can see the website, the social media links, and the other details about this uh, WordPress plugin. And for example, if you search for a person, here I search for Neymar, which I'm a big fan of him. You can see all the details, all the information, the name, the related image, the short biography, and everything is here uh, a knowledge panel is not actually something that uh, it is something that the google collects information from different sources on on, on internet about the specific entity and just makes it uh, for example you can see there are many people using the wikipedia here about nemo is also wikipedia wikipedia and uh, uh, there are other platforms like uh, Wikidata, Google Class, or even uh, in the past there was a database called Freebase. There are different platforms that uh, Google collects data and create these panels. So if you have your WordPress website, then by you can, uh, you can use your WordPress website to feed your Google Knowledge Panel. So Google will collect the information from your website and create your panel. Uh, in here, uh, I have my website. This is an online store. Uh, go to backend. The first plugin that we use is the Yoast SEO, which is a plugin. Here, uh, okay, let me close this windows. I'm going to backend and install the Yoast SEO. All right, in here, I'm going to show you two plugins which uh, can help you to design and set up uh, that your knowledge panel. The first one is Yoast SEO, search for it. Yoast SEO, this is a plugin uh, I have already installed, I have already configured. So, however, we will just explain it how specifically this can help you uh, to set up your knowledge panel. Uh, you can see on the right side, uh, the link is also in the description, a complete tutorial about Yoast SEO, you can watch that one as well. And another plugin that I'm going to explain here regarding the knowledge panel is uh, this one. This one, schema and structured data for WP and AMP. Uh, this one is also a good plugin. I have already installed and created this one. So you don't need both of them here for the sake of this uh, tutorial. I just installed and I'm going to explain how. Okay, firstly, let's go with Yoast SEO. Let me, when you install Yoast SEO here, you will have the option SEO. Click on that and go to search appearance. All right, uh, in here in the search appearance, uh, uh, scroll down and here you have the knowledge graph and schema.org. Uh, this is how you just set up the knowledge panel using this uh, use issue. Whether you are a person or organization, here I just say organization and this is the name of organization and this is the uh, logo. You upload and just save changes for the social media you just go to social media and add all the social media usernames and url here and then they will be added to the social media uh, section in the knowledge panel and then save changes Mm, as I told you, you can watch, there is another video about uh, Yoast SEO, you need to watch that uh, uh, before before you set up the social media links here and you set up the knowledge panel uh, in the search appearance, you need to go to uh, general and you need to connect your website with the Google search console. Let me go to Google search console. Okay, uh, come here, uh, is a SEO general, go to webmaster tool, 
and here you need to connect your website to the Google uh, with my Google search console you need, to con you need to connect it with the Yandex and Bing there all the search engines uh, so I have already connected uh, for the first time when you want to connect your website with the Google search uh, console you need to go, uh, go to Google search console and here you need to add uh, a property and you need to type your domain here and then they will give you an html tag you copy that html tag, uh, tag and bring it here and paste it google verification code after you paste here you just click save changes and then you go and click confirm it's a very slow process uh, for the google to create your panel and collect all the information another plugin that you can uh, which can help you to create your uh, Google Knowledge Panel is the, the another plugin which was the, the schema and structured data. I have already installed. When you install, you will see something here. Structured data. Just go to that and click settings. Okay, go to settings and uh, scroll down. This is some general settings about okay the about page, about us and contact page, website the schema, home page. That's okay. And WooCommerce archive, breadcrumbs, which is the, just like. The path, for example, if you consider a post, the post, the category, the page, and the website, something like that, and site navigation as the menu. Uh, in here, you can see knowledge graph. Knowledge graph in here, I have already configured, so just select whether it is an organization or person, a selected person. For the US issue, I have selected the organization, so I just wanted to see the differences. And the job title, I have typed into Perunar, and the image, this is the image. I've selected and a phone number you can type, the website URL and the logo and these are my social media uh, on my personal profiles here and I save changes and after saving changes it will just uh, it will try to propagate your information to Google so that Google create your uh, uh, knowledge panel for the test purpose there is uh, just to go to Google structured data testing tool uh, in the past, people were using this one. So when you type the website, for example, social.net, let me click, it is just showing the result, how it will look, uh, and the data which will be used for creating the knowledge panel. Here it is. We created two one was for the company, one was for the person. If you click for the person, which I created using this one, the structured data, uh, the plugin scheme and structured data you can see the person and this is the website uh, the name the entrepreneur uh, this is the website url and the facebook and all the other details here the image and this one is another one is for the website for the sessions online store and these are all the details this one uh, which, we create, which we just did it using the use issue uh, this is a tool you can test and another uh, tools which uh, now people are using and this one is duplicated actually Google structured data testing tool instead of this one people are using this one rich uh, test reason you type your website and just to search whether your website actually this uh, my website is a new website it is not fully optimized for the search engine yet so that's why you can see page not eligible for this rich uh, result for the rich results known by this case uh, if you fully optimize your website uh, it will be showing here something like green light for example let me see uh, there's a website from a client these days I'm working on the Google knowledge panel and if the site is fully up uh, fully and properly optimized and the content is great then you will see something like this uh, all right when your uh, knowledge panel is created so you need then you need to claim uh, that this knowledge panel belongs to you and you need to submit some documents for example uh, let me check if I search for name or it is already approved by Google and you don't see anything here but when you see when you search for another one uh, which is not uh, approved yet for example uh, let me search for Brian A. Temar. Uh he's one of our clients uh, he's an Iranian uh, millionaire 
uh, I created uh, the knowledge panel. Actually, we used the uh, wiki data for this. Uh, maybe later I will post a tutorial how to create the Google Knowledge Panel using uh, wiki data. Uh, still, it's not uh, fully propagated already. Just Instagram is uh, added, and of course, we have added the images and all the a short biography and all the other social media and stuff. So it will take time. It's been two, three days we are working on this. So within the next uh, one week or two weeks, the other details also will be added. So as I said, it's a slow process. After everything is ready, and then you can uh, click here to claim this knowledge panel. When you click on this, then there will be a form. You need to fill it. Uh, you click get verified, and you log in with your Google ag account. And you need to submit an ID, a picture of you holding uh, a portrait picture of you holding your government issued ID. And then for the social media, you need to submit some screenshots from social media when you log in. So it will be a proof that okay, uh, you are the owner of your social media and you can control the date. And so it should show something like that. And then Google will approve it. And after that, uh, that specific uh, Google Knowledge Panel will belong to you. And after that, uh, you can change the details and stuff by yourself for example uh, if I click post on Google after your knowledge panel is verified just you can go to uh, post on Google and log in with uh, already verified you can log in with uh, your uh, email address the email address which you claim your knowledge panel and you can log in and you can edit the names and stuff uh, anyway uh, just uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon Every now and then you are uploading videos about this stuff, about web development, about WordPress, about cloud computing and about uh, many stuff, uh, interesting stuff. So make sure you just uh, stay in touch with us. And uh, yeah, it's okay for today. I guess it is enough and uh, thank you very much. Make sure to hit the like button and if there is any issue, any problem, just uh, comment below. I would be really happy to respond uh, to your comments. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great time.